Hey guys, um, if you're watching this video, you have decided to do um, all online, all remote learning for the first semester, um, but you still are interested in, um, in music and choir, which is wonderful. Um, so for this semester, it's going to look really different than you're used to. You're going to be taking the Edmentum um, music appreciation course, which is going to cover music history, uh, music theory, um, and then you're also going to be completing a solo project um, for me for a performance component in addition to the Edmentum course. Um, so basically what that's going to look like is a remote version of solo and ensemble. Um, if some of you might remember this from last year, um, you're going to be choosing a song that you like uh, from a list that I will provide and you will be working on that piece for the first semester with a performance at the very end um, of you singing that piece uh, completely memorized with an accompaniment track. Um, and there's going to be check-in points periodically throughout this process so that I can give you feedback um, on ways to improve um, and things that I think that you should be doing to, um, to help you get a better grade. Um, on that list, you will see that there are three different classes or difficulty levels. Um, so A is going to be the, the hardest list level and C is going to be the easiest list level. Um, it is separated out um, by voice part. So that's soprano, mezzo-soprano, which is in the middle, and contralto, which is the lowest voice part for ladies. And for gentlemen, we have tenor, the highest voice part, baritone in the middle, and bass, the lowest voice part. There is also an any list, which it doesn't matter, boy, girl, voice part, um, th those are songs for everybody. And then there are um, usually two different keys, one higher than the other, um, depending on um, your voice range. Um, so take your time when you're going through the list, listen to the recordings um, that are provided, the links. Um, those are mostly professional recordings, the best versions that I could find. There's a couple of more, um, like less, more, lessly populated versions um, that I couldn't find a really good professional recording, but I used the best um, amateur recording that I could find. And remember, you're not listening to the voice when you're listening to those recordings, you're listening to the song and imagining your voice singing that piece. Um, when I provide those YouTube links, it's not that I want you to sound like that person, um, it's just that's the best quality that's out there and then you would be singing that song so it would be ultimately your voice. Um, there's all different languages, um, all different styles, major, which sounds happier, minor, which sounds sad, there's slow, there's fast, there's funny, um, all different styles. Um, take your time. Uh, remember that you have the entire semester to be working on this project. So, you know, if you think that you've been in choir for a couple of years and um, you're really going to be putting in the work and would like to challenge yourself with an A piece, I think that's wonderful. Um, if you're a freshman and this is your first year in the high school choir program um, and you're not taking private voice lessons and you think that it would be smartest for you to choose a piece on the C list so you can really work on like solid vocal technique and um, low breast support, um, I think that that's wonderful. Uh, there will be um, links for tips for success for practicing at home. Um, make sure that you're reading through those. I take a lot of time to put a lot of detail into um, how you can get set up for success at home without me helping you. Um, there's also a, a link for a uh, step-by-step process to learning a piece of music at home. And obviously you're going to be sending me voice recordings of yourself um, as we go along, um, but that will really help and guide you so that you can make a long-term plan. Okay, this is where I need to start. This is where I'm going to end up um, so that you can work, work backwards so that you're prepared um, for those checkpoints along the way. 
Um, never hesitate to reach out to me, even though I know I'm not going to be checking in with you guys as often as I am other students. Never hesitate to reach out to me via email with questions or concerns or, you know, I need help with this. Um, I'm here to help you guys. My email is mb, as in boy, Patterson at laca.org or mpatterson at swl.k12.oh.us. Um, please let me know how I can help you to be successful. I'm always here. Good luck, guys.